Well, the South African National Taxi Council, Losantako, says it will meet with the Transport Minister, Sindisiwe Chikunga, today to discuss the ongoing taxi strike in the Western Cape. The taxi umbrella body has indicated that the province-wide strike will end today. At least five people have been killed in suspected taxi strike-related incidents in Cape Town since last Thursday. But for more on the story, let's cross live now to SABC News reporter Vanessa Puna. Vanessa, a good morning to you. I mean, there really has been so much that's gone on. You've got even the uh, Women's Day commemorations that were set to take place in the Western Cape that were moved up to uh, the Union buildings as a result of this strike. Is an end in sight? We were told that this strike uh, would be wrapping up today. Yes, indeed. We were told that uh, the strike would continue until today. Uh, what I can tell you is that at the moment we are standing in front of the offices of Santaku uh, here in the Western Cape in Balbal. Um, initially, uh, a media briefing was set down for 11.30 this morning. Um, quite a number of media uh, 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 colleagues are present at the moment, um, if you can see in the background. But then, just a short while ago, uh, we received a message from Santaku leadership saying that the earlier meeting, and I assume that would be the meeting with the minister, has been delayed. And uh, that, of course, uh, causing a delay in their media briefing to now uh, scheduled now for one o'clock this afternoon. Um, I can tell you also that uh, you alluded earlier to widespread uh, uh, violence uh, as well as uh, uh, thousands of commuters that were left stranded over this past week. Just a short while ago this morning, uh, we visited uh, the township of Kayamandi in uh, Stellenbosch where uh, late yesterday um, we understand that a, a petrol bomb or rather a uh, yeah, uh, was uh, thrown at the uh, local police station. When we arrived there this morning, uh, quite a number of police are on the scene being vigilant. We also um, you know, saw some of the damage that was uh, experienced there, uh, but the situation seemed calm this morning. We also a short while ago received a, a video no, to a voice message from the uh, uh, MEC for mobility here in the Western Cape saying that he's pleased to report uh, that uh, the roads have been calm today. Uh, we have seen since yesterday uh, that calmness uh, returning uh, to uh, large parts of Cape Town after, of course, on Thursday, I think, when we saw uh, uh, major disruptions, uh, you know, we've seen over the past week several buses stalled, we've seen road closures. Um, and then yesterday, Police Minister Becky Trele speaking to us on the station deck at Cape Town Station, uh, also giving us figures in terms of the, uh, the number of people uh, that lost their lives during uh, this uh, violence, saying uh, that so far five people um, have been killed uh, in, uh, in suspected relation to the taxi strike, also saying that at this point a mass murder of five people in Mkweni in Paul is also an investigation. Um, uh, too early to determine whether that also is linked to the, to the taxi strike, um, but of course uh, saying that some 120 arrests have been made over this past week, and of course also appealing to city authorities uh, to come to the negotiating table saying that police resources um, have been largely diverted from policing communities uh, to assisting in quelling uh, the violence uh, that uh, we've seen uh, taking place across um, the Western Cape and Cape Town in specific over the past week. Of course, um, also, you made reference to a meeting with the Transport Minister, Shikunga, uh, with Santaco, minister then yesterday, uh, calling for uh, the release of all impounded vehicles. The city uh, saying um, ad um, adamant in uh, uh, saying that they are applying the National Land Transport Act in this impoundment. Uh, we had uh, the mayor speaking uh, alongside the minister, Becky Trele, there at that briefing on the station deck yesterday. So uh, at this point in time, um, I have not seen uh, taxis on the roads. I can tell you that in uh, Kayamandi earlier on, we did see one or two taxis parked outside uh, residences. So um, I haven't seen any taxis moving around this morning. Um, and I, I think largely uh, much will depend on, on the outcome of uh, the, uh, the meetings this morning. And of course, we will hear the latest with regards uh, to whether the strike action will continue, whether it will be suspended today, as Santaco had earlier indicated, um, and, and, and the way forward following um, uh, what we've seen taking place and also the way forward with negotiations with the city of Cape Town, uh, who said that they cannot negotiate while violence is ongoing. We did not receive a time frame on when it will resume those talks, um, but uh, the MEC, a province, 
uh, for mobility, Ricardo McKenzie, the ABC, calling uh, for Sintaku to return to the minibus task team uh, meetings around the issues facing the industry. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, could just quickly, a quick welcome to our SABC2 viewers. You are watching The Agenda. My name is Naledi Mulao. Still in conversation with Vanessa Puna, our reporter in the Western Cape, who's keeping us updated on the latest to come out of that taxi strike that is ongoing uh, in the Western Cape. I think before we let you go, Vanessa, let's not forget that lives have also been lost in this matter. Five lives, to be exact. Very, very concerning. I mean, just what information we have on those five people who have uh, unfortunately lost their lives over uh, the past few days. Yes, I can tell you um, that it was confirmed by the police minister yesterday that um, one of those that were, um, that were killed is a 40-year-old British national. Um, we also know that a LEAP officer, that's of course the Law Enforcement Advancement Program uh, uh, officer, had also uh, lost his life and then three others in, in this um, taxi violence. Um, that, of course, uh, the stats released to us by Minister Becky Trele, who did say yesterday, I've said earlier on, reiterated, um, calling on authorities, uh, on all um, stakeholders to come together to uh, to really sort out this impasse because uh, not only does it have an impact um, on, on uh, uh, for example, policing in the various communities, but also communities themselves. Um, yesterday, a colleague of mine, Atule Joka, spoke to the MEC for uh, Health and Wellness in the province, Norma French and Bombo, and she was saying that a number of elective surgeries had to be cancelled this week due to that strike. Uh, we know that um, commuters uh, were struggling to get to work. I spoke to a, a teacher from Langa, uh, Langa Township, who wanted to remain anonymous, telling us yesterday also uh, that this past week uh, they've uh, had to, to, to close the school early because teachers could not get to school, many of them living outside of the Langa area, using a, a public transport, and also uh, the Provincial Education Department telling us uh, that uh, I think the figure was something like 700,000 learners that could not get to school uh, this week. So really concerning. Um, with a um, number of businesses also not being able uh, to open their doors. I mean, just for example, um, I've heard um, numerous reports uh, from ordinary citizens saying that even at the local supermarkets and shops, uh, they cannot get a loaf of bread yeah. because, of course, the bread um, companies and the delivery vehicles could not uh, reach uh, those stores in order to get something right. as basic as a bread onto their shelves. So, um, yes, indeed, there has been widespread disruptions uh, to uh, uh, parts of the Western Cape and Cape Town. Um, and, of course, all eyes now on the building behind me, the offices of Santar Courier in Belleville in Cape Town, uh, as we await that briefing by the taxi umbrella body uh, to determine the way forward and indeed to confirm whether uh, the strike ac action, the stay away of, of taxis will end today uh, or whether uh, they, any new developments uh, have happened over the past few days of talk.